Hey guys, um, Mark Holmes here as always. I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I am... Um, it's overreaction Monday, and um, I should be ecstatic right now. I mean, the Dallas Cowboys... Um, have had a have had a great season, you know. Um, could there have been things that have been better? Sure, you know. Maybe if we had been lucky enough uh, to get some calls in a few games, and Micah Parsons, you know, had a couple of calls, you know, being held because Lord knows he's being held. Like, you know, we all know what's going on there, you know. And maybe a couple of breaks here and there, you know, like in the Eagle game, the first Eagle game, you know, the season could have been better, but. Um, to finish up 12 and 5, you know, winning 10 games in the NFL is a hard thing to do. And um, they've done it three years in a row. Now, I, I know how Cowboy fans are. We are pampered little bitches, and we expect, you know, to have the Super Bowl every year, but that's just not the reality of life. But, you know, this year has been crazy, man. And, and I realize that I'm having. I realize how depressing this is right now. Um, I just don't know what to do. I mean, this this is a, a major loss. I mean, you get used to having people around you. You get used to their company. You get used to having conversations with people. And I realize that um, I'll never hear it again. I don't know that I could take this loss because this is it's, this is just too much. I don't know how I'm going to be able to go on any longer. I don't know how to say goodbye this time because I know this is it. It's been it's been going downhill for weeks. And and you you think you think that that maybe things will turn around. And that they'll get better. But then, finality, finality, I can't even speak right now. I'm sorry, forgive me. The finality of the situation where there's no more hope. There's nothing else you can do. And you get so angry and upset because you just won't see it anymore. You just won't see them anymore. Goodbye, old friends. Goodbye, eagle mother humping trolls. You stank ass mother humpers. Been in here 
sitting there talking all your crap about how good Jalen Hurts is, how great Howie Roseman is at a GM, how much the Dallas Cowboys think, how much Dak Prescott's a turnover machine, how much the Cowboys suck. Yeah, you, you cockroaches. You cockroaches. You're disappearing. I won't see you mother humpers all off season, will I? Because you're weak ass little bitches. That's right. You can talk the talk, but you damn sure can't walk the walk as your team has literally crashed and burned. I'm talking about crashed and burned. Okay? This is what it sounds like when eagles die. Boom. Right into the glass. Right into the glass. That's it. You guys are officially, as Shady McCoy would say, ass ass. Enjoy. Who do you trust more? Jalen Hurts or Dak Prescott? <laughs> you know, I'll give you guys a pass, but you gotta stop doing this to me because I'm looking like a, a, a like I'm stupid believing in you. You sorry sons of bitches. That's right. You sorry sons of bitches. I won't be hearing from you guys, will I? Ooh. After your epic, epic fail. How you going to be? Two game lead. Two game lead. Ten and one. Ten and one. And somehow end up being the five seed. Five seed. Bro. Philly 500. I don't know if you understand this. Bro, you lost a bet to a guy wearing a tutu. Tutu! And as you keep talking about the Dallas Cowboys, or as you put it, the Dallas Choke Boys, bro, bro, that has to be the biggest choke job in the history of the NFL. You lost to the New York Jets. You gave up 30. Let, 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 me, let me tell you how bad your team is. Let me tell you how bad. You know, you know, we, we got clowned out. We got clowned because we're blowing out teams like the Commanders and, 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 and the, the New York Giants. Yeah, we, we literally got clowned. Blowing us. To, the, the team that just beat you. You, you gave up to the commanders. You, you, you basically see we spotted the commander seven points this game. You see that, right? With that blocked field goal. They scored 10 points total. 10 points the game before. Total. That's 20 points. Bro, you gave up 31 and 31 to the commanders. Bro. Bro. You got blown out. By the New York Giants. Not with Danny Dollar Store, mind you. With Jacoby Brissett. Was it Jacoby Brissett? Yeah. And Danny Cutlets when he got knocked out. No, I'm sorry. Tyrod Taylor. Sorry, Briskets was with Washington. And he decided, I ain't playing any more of those games. I'm going to take my shit and get the hell out of here. I'm sorry. Tyrod Taylor. Bro. Y'all need to do the walk of shame. Now, I understand. Believe me, guys. I understand losing games when you know, you're not supposed to. You know, getting ridicule and everything else that comes along with it. Believe me, I do. I sympathize. I sympathize. But see, here's the thing. When the Cowboys lose and or choke, I am a grown ass man. Grown ass. I take my medicine. I'm live streaming right after. You can say your piece. You guys come in and troll the hell out of me. You, you, do, you, you, you know you do. You know you do. It's okay. 
If you're going to talk the talk, then walk the walk. Which means you can't be just a fair weather fan or AKA cockroach. Cockroach. It's going to be a quiet off season from you guys, isn't it? Yep. And I'm going to say it couldn't happen to a more deserving team. Philly, you know, you know you're my son. You know you're my boy. I will for it's it's unconditional love for you, Philly. Unconditional. No matter what, my door's always open for you, Philly 500. Have a nice day.